Good afternoon. Thank you for coming to this press point. We'll start with short statements by the Secretary General and the Prime Minister, and then we'll have time for a couple of questions. Secretary General. Good afternoon. Uh, Prime Minister uh, Paul Philip, uh, you are really warmly welcome to NATO headquarters, and it's good to see you here, and it's good also to have had this opportunity to meet with you and to address the strong partnership uh, between the Republic of Moldova and uh, uh, NATO. Uh, the Republic of Moldova has been a close partner for NATO for uh, several years, and uh, NATO allies uh, continue to uh, support the independence and the territorial integrity and the sovereignty of the Republic of uh, Moldova. And I would like to personally thank you for the strong uh, contribution of the Republic of Moldova to NATO's uh, operation, NATO's uh, peacekeeping mission in uh, Kosovo. Uh, this uh, promotes uh, peace and stability in Europe. That's important for NATO and it's important for the Republic of uh, Moldova. So we are very grateful for your uh, contribution to K4 uh, and the NATO's uh, presence in uh, Kosovo. We will continue to involve you closely in the decisions uh, shaping uh, of our mission, and we will look forward to continue to work with you in uh, Kosovo. We have just had an excellent discussion on how to strengthen our uh, partnership, uh, how to strengthen it even more. In the past years, we have stepped up uh, dialogue and practical uh, cooperation with the Republic of Moldova. NATO allies are supporting your defense reforms and helping to strengthen your armed forces. We are also providing practical support in the area of cyber defenses. And we are destroying dangerous uh, chemicals uh, that uh, threaten the lives and livelihood, uh, li livelihoods of uh, Moldovans. Today, we took an important step forward. Uh, we just signed an agreement that will pave the way for the establishment of a NATO liaison office in Chisinau. This office will help promote practical cooperation, practical cooperation between the Republic of Moldova and uh, NATO. It will allow us to better support your reforms and it will allow us to communicate more clearly what NATO is and the support we can provide. So the uh, new NATO liaison office uh, will be important both for our political support but also for our practical support uh, for the Republic of uh, Moldova. This is a small civilian office, not a military base. It is about cooperation, not about imposing NATO priorities uh, or membership uh, on uh, Moldova. We stand by the right of all countries to make their own foreign and security policy uh, choices. NATO fully respects Moldova's neutrality. In fact, many of our closest partners are neutral countries. Sweden and Finland are two close partners of NATO. They are neutral. Uh, the Republic of Moldova uh, is a close partner of NATO. You are also neutral, and of course, we respect that neutrality. Through cooperation with NATO, uh, the Republic of Moldova can make its armed forces even more professional and make a stronger contribution to peace in Europe. Prime Minister, NATO fully supports a stable, secure and prosperous Moldova. It is important that Moldova remains committed to the implementation of reforms that benefit all uh, its citizens, and that it remains committed to the values shared by European democracies. So, Prime Minister, once again, thank you for coming here, and thank you for signing the uh, letters uh, together with me today, and thank you for being so committed uh, to strengthening the uh, partnership we have developed over so many years. So welcome. Please have the floor.
Dear Mr. Secretary General, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first visit to the NATO headquarters as Prime Minister of the Republic of Moldova. And I would like to use this opportunity to thank uh, Mr. Secretary General for the good and constructive discussion that we've had and during which we uh, talked about uh, several uh, important uh, issues. I uh, reiterated during this discussion uh, uh, the need to consolidate the dialogue and practical cooperation with uh, NATO in the spirit of the Partnership for Peace and based on the mm, constitutional neutrality of the Republic of Moldova. The objectives of this cooperation are reflected in the provisions of the Individual Action Plan, EPUP, uh, which is implemented by Moldova uh, starting with 2006. Based on this uh, de document of mutual development of our partnership, we signed today, together with Mr. Secretary General, the agreement to establish the NATO Liaison Office in Chisinau. I am, have the certainty that the opening of this uh, Liaison Office will contribute to uh, the cooperation of uh, NATO and Republic of Moldova by implementing the current initiatives as well as new uh, projects uh, that will be supported by NATO. I am using this opportunity to express my appreciation uh, to include the Republic of Moldova in the initiative of consolidating the defense capabilities and the interoperability pr platform approved at uh, NATO summit in Wales and reconfirmed in the NATO summit in Warsaw. Uh, we see these initiatives as important instruments for improving the cooperation and modernization of the defense and security sector of the Republic of Moldova. I also should mention the support that NATO gave us and, uh, of, and our institutions are benefiting from this support. I would like to note that recently there were three important projects launched for the Republic of Moldova, including Science for Peace and Security. Uh, conclusion, the uh, destroying a big amount of pesticides uh, in the Republic of Moldova is another priority in the bilateral agenda. Uh, that will bring only beneficial uh, aspects to the citizens of the Republic of Moldova and the environment. Uh, in closing my address, I would like to mention that in my capacity, the uh, Republic of Moldova will continue to contribute to peacekeeping operations conducted by the alliance in Kosovo. This constitutes a practical uh, a practical activity of our country to promote the stability and security in Europe and to consolidate the interoperability of national uh, defense. Okay, we'll start with Moldova 1. Yeah. My first question will be for uh, Mr. Secretary General. Congratulations uh, with uh, this uh, treaty between NATO and Moldova. And I'd like to ask uh, what uh, will be the main task, the main prerogatives for this NATO office in Chisinau? Și o întrebare pentru domnul prim-ministru. Știți din prima sursă că există foarte multe speculații... Sir, you know very well there are many speculations regarding cooperation between NATO and Moldova, uh, regarding the statute of neutrality, integration or not integration in NATO. Don't you think that it will be opportunistic uh, that a document should be signed in the near future that should include EPUB and other projects where it should be stipulated the statute of each part uh, at the, of the agreement, uh, con concrete fields of cooperation, etc. 
Thank you. The NATO liaison office in uh, the Republic of Moldova will be an important platform, an important tool for strengthening the political dialogue and the practical cooperation between NATO and uh, Moldova. And uh, this will be important for implementing the different programs and uh, activities we have uh, agreed upon as part of our partnership uh, program. And uh, it will also be, of course, a platform for direct uh, political uh, uh, dialogue. It will also be uh, a tool that we can use to help uh, the Republic of Moldova implement reforms uh, to modernize it ar its armed forces and to continue to uh, strengthen and uh, develop uh, the, uh, the different uh, security and defense institutions where we uh, work together uh, on implementing uh, reforms. Um, uh, it is a small civilian uh, office. It's not a military base, uh, and it's uh, not a tool to uh, uh, impose NATO priorities or NATO membership uh, uh, on the Republic of uh, Moldova. So this is an office which uh, actually aims at strengthening the sovereignty the, territor the territorial integrity and the independence of uh, the Republic of Moldova uh, based on the fact that we fully respect the neutrality and the sovereignty of, uh, of uh, the Republic of Moldova. So I think this will be an important uh, step forward in our cooperation. And uh, I hope that we will be able to uh, inaugurate the uh, office uh, um, next year. Uh, and. Uh, uh, that will be yet another step in the uh, cooperation and the partnership we have developed. Cooperation with NATO will increase in the future years, uh, and we need a good and uh, qualitative communication in this regard. You know very well the surveys that uh, have been done in the Republic of Moldova, how popular uh, NATO is amongst the population of the Republic of Moldova. And from this point of view, we need a very good communication in Chisinau. We, need, uh, we don't need propaganda. Uh, and this uh, liaison office is not done against something, but is done for something, for good communication, for talking about beneficial things that the Republic of Moldova will have uh, after this liaison office will be created in Chisinau. And another very important thing is not to forget that we are in the 21st century and the National Army of the Republic of Moldova, although it is not too big, it should become a modern army so as to correspond to the times, modern times. Nicola Negro, Ziaro National. First question to Secretary General. Mr. Stoltenberg, I want, would you like to say about if our government do everything to enhance defense and security capabilities in context of a Russian threat on the Republic of Moldova? We. Um work with the Republic of Moldova uh, to provide practical and political support. And we provide practical support in the area of uh, defense reform. And uh, that is to strengthen the uh, capabilities, the, the strength of the armed forces of Moldova. And that's, of course, one way to also strengthen the sovereignty and the territorial uh, integrity of the Republic of uh, Moldova. Uh, we uh, also clearly welcome the efforts of the government to implement reforms uh, because uh, the Republic of Moldova needs to invest more in defense, but also to spend uh, the money uh, that you invest in defense in a better way. So we need both reforms and uh, stronger or more investments in uh, defense. Uh, then 
as I said many times, the Republic of Moldova is a sovereign uh, nation. We uh, strongly uh, uh, support the territorial uh, integrity of uh, the Republic of Moldova. And uh, for us, it is also absolutely clear that uh, uh, we should respect the international recognized borders of the Republic of uh, Moldova, uh, because uh, 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 that is uh, a, a key message uh, from NATO uh, in all uh, uh, issues uh, like, uh, for instance, the conflict we see in Transnistria, uh, where we see that uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, sovereignty and the territorial integrity of uh, Moldova is uh, undermined. Uh, so NATO supports the peaceful and lasting resolution of all uh, uh, frozen conflicts in uh, Europe. And NATO allies fully uh, respect and call on all to respect Moldova's territorial independence, integrity, and uh, uh, sovereignty. And NATO allies do not and will not recognize uh, Transnistria. Uh, we recognize uh, the Republic of Moldova within its internationally recognized uh, borders. Okay, go ahead. A doua întrebare pentru domnul prim-ministru. Domnul prim-ministru. Mr. Prime Minister, uh, are you signing this agreement after we know the results of the presidential elections? Uh, Mr. President-elect has a different vision regarding uh, our relations with NATO. Do you have the um, certainty that the parliament will ratify this agreement and that the president will promulgate this agreement? And what will happen if the president will refuse to promulgate this agreement? I am glad that uh, this electoral campaign is over in the Republic of Moldova and we have a president-elect. Uh, I hope very much that, uh, as a politician said, uh, we are making political campaign and poetry. But when we come to uh, governing, uh, we do uh, text, uh, prose. Uh, so we hope that after the electoral campaign is over, we will uh, start to govern in the mutual interest of all the citizens of the Republic of Moldova. I'd like to mention that my visit here to Brussels, Brussels um, I brought a very important message to the European Union officials. Uh, despite the results of the presidential elections that took place in Chisinau, uh, Moldova remains determined to implement the association agreement. There are things that the parliamentary majority will not will not uh, step away from. Here we're talking about the association agreement and the DCFTA. With the with utmost serious uh, involvement uh, that we undertook to implement the reforms in front of the European Union and we, when we managed to uh, have an agreement with the IMF for which we did a tremendous work exactly when we signed this agreement to open uh, the liaison office in Republic of Moldova. We did this with utmost certainty that this uh, liaison office will be opened in Chisinau and that the parliament will ratify and the president will promulgate uh, this uh, agreement. We uh, assure you of this thing, and in the end, I would like to mention that we will be even more determined, and as I mentioned, answering the previous question, Republic of Moldova has the need, has a need and a better communication. We need to communicate not only about NATO topics, but uh, about all the problems that are discussed in this society. Thank you very much. This concludes this press point. Thank you.